Hi guys, in this video we're going to actually now get into learning SQL. So in the first video I spent quite some time giving an overview of what a database is, what tables are, what data types are, what primary keys are, what fields are, what records are, columns and rows, and then also uh, how uh, and to set up relationships between tables so that the tables communicate with each other and the database is actually functional. Uh, now, uh, so now that we have this high level view of what a database is, we're going to actually learn how to manipulate the database by querying the database. So these next few videos in this uh, tutorial series will be much shorter and sweeter. I'll focus on uh, building one kind of uh, uh, function of a SQL at a time learning a keyword or a clause at a time. Okay, so let's jump in. So I have my uh, five tables, as you recall, customers, orders, uh, order items, products, and vendors. So, and they're all connected in this uh, fashion. So they're all speaking to each other, so to speak. Uh, th these are, act this, this time I'm actually using a table I created myself as opposed to in the previous video I was illustrating using a common table that's out there for um, learning uh, starting out with uh, SQL. Okay, so it's the same framework though. It's a business example and it's the basic tables that any business would kind of have in, in their database so everyone can relate to. So now let's learn the select statement which is the most fundamental of of SQL statements. So remember how we get to the SQL view, create query design, close that out, go directly to the SQL view, and here we're going to actually type our SQL uh, code. Okay, uh, you see it starts us out with select because um, more often than not, or, or I would say well, you're always going to start out with select as a keyword. Okay, a uh, keyword or just reserved words as part of the SQL language. So clauses and keywords, you'll see me, you'll, you'll hear me interchange these kind of terms. Um, it might not be technically correct, but uh, this is uh, for practical purposes the select is the most important um, uh, keyword. Okay, so we're going to, it sets us up with select and it actually, and we should end our, our select statement with a uh, semicolon. So it kind of gives us these two and we kind of have to fill the blank between these two ends. Okay. Um, how did I get my font so big? I'm getting this kind of uh, question uh, in the past. So uh, let's kind of nip this in the bud. I, it starts you out with this very tiny font size. So let's fix this, this once and for all. Go to File, Options, and then go to Object Designers. Under object designers, go to query design, and then select a bigger font size. I chose 14 so that you guys can see this uh, on, uh, on YouTube or, or wherever you're watching it. Uh, you might have to close the query and open up a new query, start a new query before uh, those updates are reflected. But uh, okay, so now that you hopefully can see my uh, SQL code, let's jump in. So, in this first video, we're going to basically just learn how to retrieve some data. It's the most basic type of query. So using select, we have to specify field name or field names. So let's remember uh, what we had in like the customers table. We had ID, name, state. Let's say I want to know, I'm interested in knowing all the states uh, where, my, where I have customers. So customer, I have to make sure I spell it uh, exactly correct. Customer state, sorry, is the field that I want. And where do I want it to come from or where will it come from? I use the where clause. And where clearly is going to be a table uh, in this case. So rather from, scratch that, from. So where is it going to come from? Excuse me, for where is a different clause? It's a more advanced clause we'll get to in a, in a few videos, actually. So select the field from, and then here we're going to put in the table. So spell this correctly, carefully. C 
customers. So we're going to run this. So either we're going to get this exclamation that says run in access. Sometimes you don't see it. You can click data sheet view. Or another option is down here in the bottom right. Some of you may see you have SQL view, design view, and data sheet view. We're going to try to stay away as much as we can from design view because design view is Excel's proprietary GUI to do queries. We we're trying to learn SQL. Okay, so that's going to be counterproductive for us. All right, so let's go to data sheet view and see the results of our query. If there was any errors, like I typed where by accident instead of from, I got my keywords a little confused. Uh, we would have gotten an error message here and the query would not have resulted in any, any results. So uh, the fact that we didn't get any error message and we have some res results here, that's a good sign. So we see now that our customers come from California, New York, New Jersey, New York, California, and Massachusetts. So I've, I have six customers and those are the states they come from. Later we'll learn how to kind of uniquely identify these states. As you can see there's repeats, but one step at a time. Um, going back to SQL and focusing on just retrieving data from tables. What if I also wanted to know the customers, let's see, what, what was another field? Um, customers email. So I can add that here with a comma, customer email. See, comma, customer email. Uh, let me spell it correctly. And I'll hit data sheet view again. And now I have the state as well as the customer email. So this is the result of my query. Uh, and one last thing here, what if, let's start from scratch here, what if what I actually wanted was all the columns, I can use the asterisk um, from a particular table. So all the columns, I could, instead of typing them all out with commas and so forth, I can actually use the wildcard asterisk and then specify which table so let's choose a different table like products and in a semicolon. And then uh, here, you see, I could go to data sheet view and sometimes this run will show up. Run this query and I see all the records and all the fields from the products table. If you forgot the products table, like I do sometimes, I check back, you see, okay. All right, great. So, so this is so a select statement with a from uh, keyword uh, to retrieve data the most basic way. Now, uh, you might think of things that you might want to do here, like sort the data in some way. So that's coming shortly. Uh, so in this video, you got to see SQL in action, at least starting out. So if this was your first time, this was a, our first uh, baby step. So make sure to watch the subsequent videos will, where they'll get shorter and sweeter as we get more and more comfortable with uh, actually getting to the SQL view and running and I don't need to repeat that stuff over and over. Okay, so till next time, have a great day, share, like, subscribe, and comment.